I have compiled some of the best, worst, and ugliest Titanfall 2 knockoffs. And since the servers haven't worked for years now, I'm going to be ranking them from F tier all the way to S tier to help you determine which is the best alternative for you. So, let's start her up. Righto. First up on the agenda, War Robots. You may actually recognize this game from the bazillion YouTube sponsored ads it used to get, and it honestly doesn't look too bad. However, don't be fooled by this Pixonic wizardry. This game is the definition of the expectation versus reality meme. <laughs> AKA, it's complete fucking dog shit. First and foremost, you can't even fucking look up and down in the game, which is just so weird. The movement mechanics also feel more clunky than the DSi XL. And overall, it just looks like shit. Absolute F tier. Don't care what you say, I'd easy knock the fuck out whoever made this game. Moving on, we have Apex Legends. So just to some of you out there, I am well aware that Apex is made by the same creators. And you know, I do enjoy it. It is a pretty decent alternative. It's got the same guns, same gadgets, all that jizz jazz, but there is one tiny problem. Titanfall 3 was sacrificed in order for Apex to exist, which is pretty much the equivalent of sacrificing world peace for 10 bucks. So I just, I can't do it. I can't give it any higher than what it deserves. F tier. Titanfall 2 multiplayer on scratch. A lot of people fanboyed over this game in the other video. And you know, I get it. It is a 3D game made on a kid's coding website, but that doesn't negate the point that it's fucking terrible. Who's even playing this garbage? There's literally like stick drift on it and I'm using a mouse. <laughs> it also has possibly the shittest graphics I've ever seen in a 3D game. I don't care how impressive it is. It still sucks. It's only going in D tier because it's better than War Robots. <laughs> Right, I'm moving on to the C tier. This is where things get better. First up, Hawkins. Hawkins is a story mode mech game that does actually feel pretty similar to being in a Titan. The first campaign mission is awfully similar to the start of the Titanfall 2 campaign. New pilot detected. Although it does have this super creepy schizophrenic voice that shows up every now and then. Maybe that's just me. Is it just me? Anyway, the point is, the game's okay. It does get boring pretty quick though, since the weapons are pretty much all just standard guns. You know, none of that fucking jump around, fucking shield, fucking pew, pew, sort of stuff that Titanfall has. My only major complaint with it is that you can't actually get out of your mech. All things considered, it is definitely the best so far. C tier. GTTOD. Get to the Orange Door is a movement shooter directly inspired by Titanfall 2. It has very similar mechanics like wall running, double jump, and slide jumping. What it doesn't have similar is the graphics. Oh my f The game looks like some sort of neon synthwave edit sort of thing. You know, like something you'd seen in an old Leafy intro. <laughs> the goal of it is to kill all the enemies in the level, complete objectives, and finally, Get to the orange door. Me major complaint about this game is the enemies just never shut the f up. They make this sound that just tickles my brain in the wrong way. It goes a little something like, Shut up! Just shut up! Opposite to Hawken, my second main complaint is that there is no Titans. But if you're a fan of the Titanfall movement, couldn't recommend it more. C tier. It is now time for the B tier. This is where things start to get surprisingly good. First and foremost, Mech Warzone. This game is a direct Roblox ripoff of Titanfall, except in third person. I logged into this game expecting just some BS or whatever, but actually surprised to find a fully functioning attrition game. It started with some pilot versus pilot combat, which of course I dominated. It then moved onto the Titans, which were insanely good for Roblox, like there was guns and gadgets and all that good stuff, but it ended up feeling like some sort of Lego Transformers battle when I got executed. I don't know, mate, something about it just looked off. But then, you wouldn't fucking believe this. There was an epilogue phase, like an actual Titanfall with a dropship and everything. <laughs> fucking insane, mate. I do have two complaints with this game, though. First being, there's no cool movement, just regular Roblox walking. And also, it feels really weird playing a third-person Titanfall. Overall, a very solid B tier. Now, I'm not trying to get controversial or anything, but I had to include it. Infinite Warfare. Just hear me out here. Infinite Warfare was released a month after Titanfall 2, so it's technically maybe a ripoff. 
but it is without a doubt extremely similar in many ways. The graphics are similar, the guns are similar, it's sci-fi, I'm pretty sure it has war running. It's not bad, but it does have quite a lack of titans, which is why it can't get S tier. But that doesn't go to say it's completely shit like uh, that one game from earlier, Easy B tier. I'm gonna have to say boys, this next one's a little personal favorite of mine, Echo Point Nova. This game's currently only in demo, but fair dinkum it's good. The only appropriate way to describe this game is Titanfall with skateboards. Basically, you get a bunch of different guns and stuff and you grapple and hoverboard around, killing shit while trying to get to the end of each level. The movement and gunplay is seriously fun and satisfying if you're craving a movement shooter. It even has this sick music that comes on whenever there's a big fight. Overall, this game isn't overly similar to Titan 4 besides the movement and gunplay. It's also only a demo still, so I can't give my full review yet. So you know what? B tier and a half. Righto boys, moving on to A tier. We're bringing out the big guns now. Bloody Project Atlas. Nothing but good to say about this game. Project Atlas is an abandoned Roblox project for people with bad PCs to be able to play Titanfall. <laughs> It's an extremely good Roblox ripoff, but they never finished it due to funding. Everything is very accurate, just incomplete, which is why it's getting an A tier. Mech Warrior 5. Mech Warrior is a fully functional mech game. Personally, I haven't played it because I fucking can't afford it, but from what I've seen, it's a game full of violence, speed, and momentum. It is a co-op PvE game, but there's also Mech Warrior Online if you want to verse real humans. Easy A tier. Looks fucking awesome. Right eye gents, here we have it. The S tier. There's only one game in this, one game that puts the rest to absolute shame. One game that will finally satisfy your inner pilot. One game that will restore peace between random Redditors online and the EA development team. And that one game is... Infinity Ops. Fucking Infinity Ops is a proper game. It's on the phone, which is the only downside, but otherwise it's a full FPS ripoff of Titanfall. We got Titans, guns, and Titan guns. And you wouldn't believe it, but working multiplayer servers. It doesn't have war running, but it sure makes up for it with those working servers, I'll tell you that much. Never thought I'd like an app store phone game this much, but credit where's due, mate. Infinity Ops deserves a big fat S tier. Hang on, what's this? Minecraft Titanfall? This is my own game I assembled with a bunch of mods from the last video. It's very cool and very good. Mate, it's my own game. How am I not going to put it anywhere but above S tier? By the way, about 10 quadrillion of you wanted to play it, so I've dropped the link to download it all in the description of this video. Hang on a second. Just real quick before I go, I recently got monetized on YouTube and YouTube basically has this feature where if the video isn't at least eight minutes long, it gets really crappy ads. I think you can see where I'm going with this. So I need to stretch this video out by another 18 seconds. And that's exactly what I've just done. Anyway, till next time.